Oh, did I not get this? Was what that always there? I found an ominous eyeball, Mizami. <laughs> um, I guess we're just going to dodge him now. Hello. Lord Dohalim, and the rest of our heroes. Yep. If you'd given me more warning, I'd have prepared a better welcome. That is not necessary. I no longer rule Menencia, after all. More importantly, we have a request. I'd be happy to do anything in my power, of course. This is Nazamil. We'd like you to arrange for her to be able to live here. Understood. Aren't you going to ask if I'm Renan or Danon? They'll ask during the formal procedures. Not that it matters much. There is one thing that matters, however. Whether or not you agree with this realm's ideals. Well, what do you say? Can you interact with those different from yourself without prejudice? I'm not sure yet. But I think it's nice that the Renans and Danans here don't fight. That's good enough for me. There is a screening process, but I'm sure you'll be fine. A screening process? Recently, many Danans and Renans have tried to move here for our realm's abundance. Yet, they take issue with our principle of coexistence. That's why I'm more than prepared to defend our ideals. Oh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. A room at Ottolina Palace will be provided until she has her official residence. At the palace? Not at the inn? It's a good way to make use of our many spacious rooms. The palace is now public property, after all. We'll show her the way there. Can I just say, oh my god. God, Kassar, you're freaking ass. <laughs> anyway, sorry. I um... appreciate that. Oh, by the way, Lagil was wondering when you'd be coming back. Lagil? Understood. I'll go check on her later. Don't Alfin and the others also live here? Only Kisara and Rinwell at the moment. Alfin and Shion are always traveling. Oh, I see. For now? For now? <laughs> What is it, Nazamil? Nothing. Oh, does she want to be with Shion and Alfin? Wait a second. I believe that young prospective immigrants who are not bound by old values will be the future of the city. Does she want to stay with Shion and Alfin because they're like her? Wait, stop. I'm gonna cry. That's her mom and dad now. <laughs> That's her mom and dad now. I guess we'll check out this entire place. <laughs> Kisara and Dohali, living together in the palace, huh? I myself am simply being provided a room. By who? Kisara? <clears throat> uh, what did you just say? Whoa! Whoa! Law, you can't be asking that. <laughs> can't be saying that! But also, I want to know. My job is to make the entrance to Ottolina Palace sparkle without a speck of dust. Minister's Hall is the face of the palace. I must clean it well. I'm sure you do a good job. Come to think of it, should you really be chewing the fat right now? Damn it, it's almost time for the next training. I better get going or the commander will kick my ass again. Commander as in Kassara? The in indoor garden, which is the pride of, the of, of Autolina Palace, is just up ahead. It's a place of relaxation and enjoyment for everyone. I want to talk to everyone in this room first, but we're going to check out the lower levels first. Hey, how about a drink after the patrol? Sounds good. Yeah, can't be at a drink after work. Or... We don't have an objective in here. Yes, we do. The noble room. That's on the second floor. I believe. Yeah. So we'll go to that in a second. We'll, we'll explore the whole palace because I want to talk to everyone we can. Why are you over here by yourself? I moved to visit since I had relatives here, but I'm having a hard time adjusting myself. I prefer to spend my time in quiet peace, but the people living here are quite lively. Being in quarters like this is somewhat calming. Okay, that's fair. Fair enough. Was there someone over there? No, but we can go downstairs now.
milk. And an elixir, okay. Kitchen. I wonder if there's any more owls to find here. Probably not, yeah? I'm getting pretty hungry. Want to sit down and fix something? Yep, the sooner the better. We have full food. No one to talk to though in here. All right, I guess we'll explore this side first. I guess. There's a lot to see in here, but not a lot of people to talk to. Hello. It's the first time we've ever gathered on a day off like this. Who'd have thought that we'd see the day when we Danans can spend time together peacefully with you Renans? I never could imagine it, but I'm always happy to make new friends. Aw. We're happy to be friends. Time to switch shifts. Anything strange happen? Not at all. Peaceful as useful as usual. Oh, what's he doing? I was a guard in Linagus as well. I tell you, I couldn't be more thrilled about this opportunity to work in at Autoluna Palace. It's fascinating. The foliage in Dana is a little different th from that in Linagus. Probably because it's grown, you know, actually in soil. I mean, there's obviously plants in Linagus were in soil, but they weren't like grown in the earth, you know, the actual planet, because Linagus was a space station, basically. That person is acting strange. Maybe something's wrong. Let's go ask. We will. Give me one second. It takes hours for our moms to stop talking once they start. I'm so bored. <laughs> well, fancy me- oh no, it's the classic, you, your mom, you're with your mom in the supermarket and she sees a, a friend. And they just sit there and chat for who God knows how long. And you just want to go home. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here. Well, well, what a surprise. You heard about the new shop? I tell I hear I hear a tale they got some <laughs> Can I learn to speak? Can I learn to read the words I'm actually looking at? I hear I hear tell they've got quite a selection of goods, including some rare stuff. Oh, I hadn't heard. What where is that exactly? There they go. Hello, what's up? What's wrong? Hmm. Say, when are they going to build our house? <sighs> our home will take some time to build, my boy. We'll have little choice but during here until the work is done. Well... Hey, question. How come it'll take so much time? There's a special structure, not just a run-of-the-mill house. That's why we moved here from Pelegian. Well, we also, we're also also drawn here by Minasia's ideal of coexistence, of course. Oh, yeah? Unique construction, you say? How so? It, it is an institution for instructing the youth. I intend to live and work there as a teacher. I want to build a place where Renan and Dan and children alike can receive an education. My man! Wise Renan man! Great! What a wonderful idea! And you came all the way to Vicent to do that? Indeed, a Renan woman already teaches children in the library in the city, after all. With her help and insight, I believe I can establish a schoolhouse of some merit. Hmm. Are there really that many kids out there who, who even want to study? <laughs> One's right here, and plenty of other kids in town said they wanted to learn too. Law? Sounds like a great opportunity. Why don't you join the law? <laughs> nah, I'm good, thanks. We will do more than just book learning. I intend to offer exercises to strengthen the body. You seem quite hale and hearty. I'm sure you receive good marks in such a curriculum. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> if it's just workouts we're talking about, I guess I could give it a shot. Mm. Unfortunately, the road to my goal is a long one. Bu I a building accommodating many children requires materials exceeding the current supply. More people are looking to immigrate to Vicent, we, but we don't even have enough materials for normal homes. Indeed, and we're especially, especially low on Zoogle parts. These are invaluable for teaching the risks and weaknesses of Zoogles, yet I cannot get them. We'll help you. Yes. In that case, we can gather the Zoogle parts for you. Having a place where children can learn is important. We should hurry. Truly? You would do that for me? Sure, you need them for the kitties, right? Leave it to us. <laughs> you have my sincerest thanks. I leave the matter in your capable hands. How about it? Hold up, we've already got plenty of those parts. Why not just give them to him? Oh, yeah! Here, this? here, you can just take these. <laughs> oh, thank you. This is enough for the construction. That was an interesting, um, 
interaction. They like they actually pause to like look at each other and say like, "Hey, we got these." instead of just putting it in a little text box. And with teaching materials to spare. You did it! Yeah, ain't that great, Teach? Wait, Teach, you two aren't related? We are not. The truth is, this child is Dannon. What? I took him under my wing after he lost his parents. I guess. A Ren and raising a Dannon? Hmm. I may have reacted the same once. I was raised in Linagus, looked down on the Dannon people. But I met this child in Polesian and started teaching him as a way to pass the time. And as I did, my way of thinking changed. In him, I witnessed a pers... Perspicacy? I don't know how to say that. I'd never seen before, even among written children. <laughs> I said I wanted to come here with Teach because I wanted to learn more from him. I realized there are no inferior humans. These are children who are eager to learn, regardless of whether written or Danon. And that's when you decide to make a place where anyone can get an education. Precisely, Pelagian is still full of prejudice, but an air of greater equality per pervades Vicent. That said, were I to succeed here, I would like to build similar schools in other cities such as Polygia. Right. That's wonderful of you. If there's anything I can do to help, just say the word. I could teach techniques from Zugal defense to basic housekeeping, even how to fish. What fortress, fortuitous offerings I would be ever so grateful to accept. Kisara. Kisara's a natural born teacher. She has a real knack for it. Don't be too harsh on the little tykes, tykes though. You know what they call you in the service corps. Mm -hmm. They call me something. <laughs> well, not to your face, sure. The drill instructor from hell, I believe it was. Aww. I'm nice to students who show a modicum of respect. As for delinquents. <laughs> hey, hold on. Don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> That's adorable. Kasara is a good teacher, though. Even if a little strict. I think you'd make a good school teacher, Kisara. When you taught me how to cook, your explanations were really easy to understand. I bet Excuse you'd be you. a hit with kids, too. That is, if you can manage to not be the demon in this situation as well. What was that, Law? Nothing, Miss Kisara. Miss Kisara, that's so funny. We'll have a splendid schoolhouse soon, thanks to you. I can't wait to have lessons that match its grandiose outward appearance. And I'm all, and I'm going to help you out while I study, teach. It sure would be nice to get some more schoolmates. That's adorable. All right, let's check out this side. Much in here, huh? over here. I don't know if there'll be items. I see a cat. I wonder how Zari's doing. Aww. Would you like to pet the kitty too? Really? You sure? Of course. Just be gentle, okay? Meow. Aww. She seems to be happy too. That's so cute. Oh my god. I love cats. Looking at such a lovely garden reminds me of Linagus. Yes, it really does. It looks so much like that park where we first met. Aww. I don't think there's any items over there. Let's get to the library and then we'll go upstairs. Oh my god, there's a lot of people actually. Renwell's magical research. Got your face stuck in a book as usual, huh? What kind of stuff do you read anyway? All sorts of things. Ancient accounts, histories. Just recently, I was reading a book about astral arts. So what's the point? Does this, like, make your astral arts stronger? No. I just read because I like to learn. Though, it is also helpful for my research. Research? Mm-hmm. For example, I'm looking into whether it's possible to combine Dan and magic with Ren and astral arts. I'm also interested in the mausoleums and Dana's past, Okay, I'll admit, I'm not totally following, but, uh, 
Is there a purpose to this research? Like a goal? A purpose? Hmm. Well, I guess there is something I'd like to try someday. I want to try writing my own book. Instead of just reading what others have written. This is the first I'm hearing of it. What kind of book do you want to write? I have several ideas I've been thinking about, but... Most of all, I'd like to write about Dan and magic. Leave as much of my knowledge behind as possible, you know? And also, if there are any other Danans out there who can use magic, like me, maybe that book could help me find them. Wow, you've really thought this through. You're amazing, you know that? What's gotten into you? <laughs> I'll have you know that flattery won't get you anywhere. Law is correct. All the knowledge you've gained on Dan and Magecraft would be lost if not made manifest. That book would serve as a guiding light to scholars for generations to come. You're gonna embarrass me if you keep talking like that. It's no big deal. I just like to study, that's all. I know what you mean. Whether books or art, there is an indescribable, fragrant allure to those things that have traversed the ages. Yeah, who doesn't like the smell of old books? Uh, yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> they do smell, uh, yummy, don't they? Law, what the what? heck? La, please don't eat my books. They smell yummy? Is that his way of trying to, like, relate to her? Law, please. He's cute, though. He complimented her. I've been teaching these children for a year now. I'm sure they'll do great wherever they go. It's time to leave the nest. Miss, I want to learn so much more from you. Me too. If you don't mind, please keep teaching us. I don't know what to say. Aww. There are hardly any books on magic, but I was able to find a few on astral energy and astral arts. Oh, this is Torben. Understanding the logic is super difficult, but I'll ask you if there's anything I don't get. Awesome. My heart races at the very thought of you. Please understand how I feel. You may be sick, should I call a doctor? Damn, it's been nearly a year of this. How do I get her to understand? Bro! <laughs> she still hasn't under <laughs> realized. I wonder if there's at least a single book written about the former splendor of Rena. Uh, introduction to archaeological surveys never break, steal, or sell artifacts. I don't believe that you put that there. Several Danon tomes are scattered in among a large amount of linen literature. I guess we'll go this way first. Archaeological and astral arts, myriad flavors, and fun. On Danon customs. There's this one girl who's been borrowing books frequently this past year. Watching her reading eagerly motivates me too. Are you talking about Renwell? Jokes unfit for a dinner party. Even Renans enjoy their fair share of lowbrow humor, it seems. <laughs> Practical astral arts theories and applications. A chronological of the uh, crown contest. A swordsmanship book with sl a slash cover. Did the reader get mad at the book or use it in a fight? <laughs> hey, a book could be a shield. Meninsian theory. The joys of fine liquor, a compendium of Meninsian breweries. Prophecies of the Helgan Quill, good fortune awaits. Oh! So there is knowledge about the Hangan Quill for others to be. These are thick astral energy re research tomes, so hard to even can put you to sleep. <laughs> Did I read this one? Yes. Hang on. There are books about this art of torture. What are these black splotches on the cover? Excuse me? Twin Worlds Historical Draft. Thank you! I was about to say, how are we supposed to make the third one? 85 sheep, 86 sheep, 87 sheep, 88 sheep, 89 sheep. The format is unique, but it seems to be the ledger of the ranch near the <laughs> Interesting. There's a lot of borrowing and lending of the books here, so it's important to keep records of who's taken the books out. The passage here is an excerpt from a classic piece, so in this case it can be interpreted like this. I see, I understand now. Thank you so much for taking the time to teach us. 
My pleasure. It pleases me to see you continuing to learn and coming to understand challenging literature. Nice. Renan's helping Danans learn. I guess that's everything. Curi Curios and you finding gems in the rough. Alright, so I guess we go upstairs now. How do we go upstairs? I guess from any entrance when we go up the stairs. <laughs> now we can make uh, Ringwald's next weapon. check out this place first over here hello field work is a dialogue with the soil water and plants you need to provide just the right amount of nutrients not too much not too little I see so you have t seen touched and felt nature in order to, to grow food very interesting I guess the Danans can also teach the Renan some things I've been able to help a lot of people by learning how to prepare medicine, so I want to share and spread this knowledge with young people as well. That's great, I want to teach children how to read and write too. I'm sure it'll be useful in the future. It will. It definitely will. We're alive today thanks to Lord Doholdim. We should never forget what he did for us, but we can't just keep depending on his generosity forever. We have to stand on our own feet and take charge of our lives. I know, you told me a thousand times. They're cute. Collection of books on etiquette. The titles alone make you your posture go rigid. <laughs> Hello, Rin and Dana. All are equal here. Okay, yeah, that's a statement, sir. It's very, it's a very drastic change from seeing Min and Zia versus um um how different it is between how well Renan's and Dana's get along. You sure it's okay to take off your armor? It's not long till the ship change. Still can't get used to it. Feels like I'm trapped inside. Ooh. What the heck? Hey, ship change. Got it, shall we then? For Min and Zia. <laughs> Nothing else in here? Okay. Kinda, we'll kind of peek see this way a little bit, but we won't um, go up all the way. With more residents come more disputes. Yes, change is often accompanied by friction, but surely there are things we can do to help. There are. There always are. Or is. Protecting the palace where Lord Doholin must spend his time, there's no honor like this. Apple. Hello. I know I'm just a kid, but I want to do what I can for everyone. Aww. Did you hear about the romance between the innkeeper's daughter and the young man from the old Renan noble family? What? Tell me- what? Tell me all about it. I want to know about it too. Hello? Gossip? Oh, I wonder if we got any more, like, um... This one, a mollusk zoogle that fights best around water, protected by armor that it's as hard as iron. It sucks in water before shooting it back out with the fury of a geyser. It also rubs its two tentacles together to surround itself with dangerous electricity. See, I forgot to, um, look at this after the training grounds. Um, earthen mass, an earth astral energy wielding zoogle that can teleport to invade foes as well as erect defensive barriers. The boomy riding on top of it was apparently simply resting before. That's so funny. Berserker? It's 
It's not found in any area. What is this? A demon human zoogle that tears its foes to pieces with its claws it bears on both arms. Highly tough and agile, it screams in a frenzy like a soldier gone mad as it quickly rushes at an enemy to viciously attack them. I'm assuming these were in the um, uh, training ground, but it's not saying it is. A golem, an amalgamation of countless rocks that move like a titan. While the rock's natural hardness affords its superior offense and defense alike, it's slow to react and has glowing, glaring weak points on its back that's particularly brittle. Ooh. A zoogle spawned by the Procella Sylph, thought to be the same genealogy as hawk zoogles. A superior wielder of wind astral energy, as its name indicates, it floats in the air as a light as a feather before moving in to attack. A sylph feather. Hawk. A bird zoogle that quickly swoops down on its prey from the skies, picking at it with its sharp, pointed beak as it drops balls of lightning in circles around the battlefield. Although it normally never lands, it can be shot down with a success sufficiently powerful shot. Ice Wolf. A wolf zoogle deployed in Sislodia that changes and bites at enemies with its sharp teeth and claws. Though regularly dispatched to assist Ren and armored soldiers for its speed, packs of trees can also be found roaming around Dana. And that's all those. We didn't read this either, did we? Nimbus pandemonium. A related species of Nimbus origin that mutated due to the change in the balance of astral energy. Its four thick legs are supported by its hard outer shell and the inner side is packed with muscles. Okay, and glossary. <gasps> Eldmanensia, land of green. A unique land where Danans and Renans coexist in peace. Though blessed with bountiful harvest, the land's vigor has been declining since the world's merge. I wonder if it's gonna keep declining or is this trying to get back to its like neutral state? I guess we'll see. The capital of Menensia, a city like no other where Danans and Renans have coexisted in Blissey since the final years of the old regime. Regimen? Together they strive for ideal. Adelina Palace, the palace in Visit where Doholin lived as its lord. It remains the administrative center of Menensia is known for its many books and pieces of artwork. Vicent Training Grounds, a training facility in the corner of Adelina Palace. It was once used for cool purposes, but currently is only used for genuine training. We got some more stuff. Crest. A shining crest that appears when a sovereign maiden or lord uses its ability. Uses their ability. It has no function of its own and is simply a sign of qualification that is artificially granted. Test subject. The term used for individuals who went through the procedures necessary to create a sovereign. Due to the low success rate, many lost their lives during the process. Sovereign and maiden. Hers kind of looks like the sovereign, yeah. The key elements of the spirit channeling ceremony, their roles have expired with the merging of the world, but they still retain their abilities and access to hugging cool facilities. Starship! Ships mechanically energy engineered by the Renans for space travel, they were used to travel between Dana and Linagus, but following the collapse of Linagus, they all ceased functioning before after being used to escape. Why? They just stopped working? I wonder why, that's so strange. Gold Dust Cats. A former resistance group in Menencia that supported the Doholim and opposed those against coexistence. They are now part of the newly formed Service Corps. Helgen Quill. True Renans who were slaves to Renan's great astral spirit. They created everything in the old regime, including the Renans and, Le and Linagus. On the verge of extinction, only a few still survive in hibernation. So they're not dead. A few of them are still alive and they're just sleeping. I wonder if they're going to wake up during this um, DLC, I'm wondering. Because they seem like to be playing a bigger role than we think. Our fishing stop, Dan and Bass, a freshwater fish found throughout Dana that is best eaten once scaled and gutted. Azor Telelapia, a violent, colorful freshwater fish whose flesh is lean but has a pleasantly subdued flavor. Berserker Piranha, a ferocious fish, freshwater fish found all over, all over Dana. Its chewy meat makes it a rather popular delicacy. Tricolored catfish. <laughs> a freshwater fish seen in many Dana realms. Its rich scent and flavor make it a fish, a fish best fried. Muddy pira, pira, ruchu. pira ruchu. A huge fish seen in the muddy, murky waters of Aquafotal. For a fish, it smells a lot better than it looks. Really? Hmm. It smells better than it looks. Alright, sorry for that little moment of um, reading stuff. Let's continue on. Mm 
No one in here? Well, there's a few people, but we can't talk to them. Words fail me. What? Why are words failing you, Dohalim? What you? What? What did you find? Bro, who's eating here? I want some of this. I guess we're gonna go back down and go over here to the meeting room and then loop around. Wait, which way's down? Which way's down? <laughs> it's if possible, I hope there's a garden in the place I'm moving to, even if it's a small one. I was thinking of building a garden growing some vegetables. Well, that's lovely. I have to grow some flowers. I prefer fruits. Y'all can grow it all. Hmm, I've read all of them. There's more in the library. I think I'll try to make that new recipe with this. All right, but I'll decide how spicy it is. <laughs> uh. At my age, I'm not interested in living in a big fancy house. I just want to settle down somewhere and live in peace as soon as I can. I feel that, honestly. Mood. I've been told to wait here, so that's what I'm doing. How much longer do I have to kill time like this? Like, before your house is ready? Probably a long time, yeah? You could go help Bill, I guess. Do you happen to know where Lord Dohalim's room is? Huh? It's for business purposes, okay? Whoa! What kind of business do you got going on? What did you find? Money! Someone left money just laying there. This is Lord Doholing's private quarters. In honor of Lord Doholing, it is left untouched. Well, we got him with us, so we can, like, look around. <laughs> no comment from anyone? Well-maintained instruments are kept here. It appears as though they're used from time to time, not just for decoration. What you got in here, Dolvalim? An electric... Electric... Is that how you say that? Eclectic, but mix of books on high-level academic subjects, gourmet food, curios, and more. A selection provides insight into the character of the owner. The joys of music, consent... Concerto pieces for quartets. String scores to tug at the heartstrings. Nice. Dohalim doesn't say anything. <laughs> Can we go in here? The ownership of the treasury's collection has been transferred to citizens in accordance with the law. But now it's left here because we don't have any use for it. <laughs> Can I take anything? Oh! Seems like I can, hello! A mega elixir. And a gold gel. I'll take it. There are lots of treasures assembly, assumably ordered and placed in the palace by past Menensian lords. Now it is the community property of Menensia, and it will remain here awaiting the day that the people are able to enjoy its brilliance. It's a shiny gold statue, it must represent a previous lord. I can't believe they, the previous lord made a statue of himself. Was he that conceited? Alright, it was worth coming in here. We may need to use that gold uh, gel and the Omega Elixir sometime. Who knows what awaits us? After the merging of the Twin Worlds, the Elmen and Zia Guard and Gold Dust Cats joined in the city and formed the Service Corps. Being a ragtag group, there was some confusion, but we're all united in our goal to protect the citizenry. Yes. And we appreciate that. The back room is being used for representatives of res residents to discuss the future of our country. Can I go in? Yeah! Oh. Okay. 
Representatives, of, representatives are getting together to talk about what people want and how to reflect it in politics. Okay. Oh! I didn't even know there was water in here. This is beautiful. No idea there was water in here like this. Anyway. Hello. Next, about prospective immigrants. I'm willing to accept the immigration of those who will follow the city's ideals. The question is where to provide their homes. I like to discuss and decide all together. Nice. The number of people who wish to immigrate to Menencia continues to grow. It's an honor to be chosen, but we can't keep accepting people ad infinitum. But we can't just turn away those who come to our country with nowhere else to go. We need the other places to start accepting both Renans and Danans. That's the solution here. At least I think. This place is very beautiful, though. Like, the designs are top tier. Alright, I guess it's time to start heading to the Noble Room, was it? I can't thank the service corps enough for their dedication to the citizenry. The citizen... Maintaining public order is, of course, important, but I feel that budgets should focus on economy boosting measures going forward. But Zoogles are roaming the roads and more strangers are passing through, some of whom get up to no good. If you slash budgets allocated for safety and security, the citizens are the ones who will suffer. Hmm. A lot of tough decisions. Alright, let's look in this room first. The guard room. Kassara is in the sent as a captain of the ser in the service corps, and Lord Doholim is in Pelagian serving as a mediator for the Renan refugees. I know it's none of my business, but there seems to be no progress in their relationship at all. I just want Kassara to be happy. Aww. I want to know. I want to know. Hello. Tell me more about them. Game, let me know. I want to know about Kassara and Doholim's relationship too. So we can't go in the room yet? Hmm. No, I'm sorry, but we're still getting it ready. We should be finished in a moment, though. Alright, thank you. And there you have it. Let's keep waiting in the palace. What? What is there to do for fun in this palace when you want to kill some time? Hmm. I suppose you could read a book in the library. Or compose a poem, perhaps. That can really make the hours fly by. How about going to the courtyard? It'll be easier that way if someone comes calling. This is the room where prospective immigrants to, to Menencia stay. There are several rooms like this at Ottawa Palace where people can temporarily stay until a new residence is found. Alright, so I just went around the whole fucking place. Where do I go? Oh, I see. Okay, we'll go downstairs then. We already looked everywhere, though. This is what I get for being sufficient. Flower, huh? The Rose of Unity. It's said to be a symbol of Rena and Dana becoming one. Is that why you like it? It's a flower that's neither Renan nor Danan. I guess it reminds me of myself. And yet. It grows everywhere. How can you be so calm about everything, Elfin? What? You mean about being the Sovereign?
When I was in Nies. No, not just then. In other places, too. I heard that the Blazing Sword is Rena's enemy. It's Destroyer. Danans think so, too. They look at you differently. Like you're something apart from them. How can you be okay with all that? It's not like I don't have feelings. Nazimil, are you scared of me? It's true that together we did overthrow Renan rule. But we didn't do so out of malice, or because we were trying to hurt people. Please believe that. I do. From the very beginning, when we first met, both of you have tried to help me. The daughter of a lord? Half Danon? A test subject? Finding out more about who I am didn't change anything in your eyes. You still protected me without prejudice. It was the first time I experienced that, and it was nice. So because of that, I, um, I wanted to say, um, thank you. our daughter now I'm sorry that's our daughter <laughs> I should be the one thanking you huh? I didn't want anyone to get unfairly hurt and when it seemed like they would I vowed to use all my power to protect them that's what I've been fighting for So in the end, hearing your view on things makes it all feel worthwhile. Aww. Thank you. Um. <laughs> She's so awkward. Sure. We can't always have our actions understood by others. And when we believe we're doing the right thing. What you said... is very encouraging. People tend to judge others based on birth or background rather than what they've actually done. Everyone has their own assumptions. Though the world has changed, people's hearts and minds don't change so easily. Even so, I... What should I do? What? I... I want... I want to help you, Alfin. I want to be useful. What should I do? Oh. That's, um... 
What can you do? Hey, you guys! The room's ready! Uh, right. Got it. Let's go. We can discuss this more later. He probably needs time to think on it. Um... Okay. Like, can she fight? Well, let's head to your room. You can stay as long as you want, Nazamil. No one will bother you here. Right. It's a pretty over-the-top name for a flower when you stop and think about it. I believe Dohalim is the one who came up with the name. The flower appeared after the merging of the worlds, so I'd hoped it could serve as a symbol of reconciliation. I think it does. Wrong way. Wrong way. We got this. <laughs> we got this. So Nazamil wants to help, but what can she do? It's not like they can bring her along and have her fight with them, right? Does she fight? Can she fight? I don't think she wants to stay here either. I think she wants to stay with Shion and Alfin. Until we find an official residence for you, this will be your home, Nazamil. Yes, this is where we say goodbye then. It won't be the same without you. We'll be sure to stop by when we're in Vicent. Okay. Nazamil, we have something for you. We do? <gasps> This... is the charm from the ruins? That's right! The good luck charm you give to someone special. <laughs> we all... helped fix it up a little. Aww. I know you said you don't have anyone special, but you're special to all of us. I thought this could be a reminder when you need it. <sighs> but... I... Stop, I'll cry. She'll cry. <laughs> of course. Think of it as a sign of our friendship. A promise that we'll meet again. Basically, we're friends now. Friends. Aww. My very own friends. Just like me. Oh, does she put it on? It looks good on you. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. We'll see you soon, Nazamil. <sighs> okay. No, Nazamil. Is she standing around? She's she is! She is! There she is! <laughs> I'll take good care of the charm. It's glowing on her. Okay, Nazamil. Um, we'll see you later then. I'm actually gonna do something silly. I'm gonna change to the show supper. Just for a little bit. We also need to um, get Renwell her new book. So cute. All right, let's move on. <laughs> I guess let's move on without Nazamil. What are we gonna be doing? I'm happy that things worked out for Nazamil. Yeah, I'm glad there's a place like Vicent where she can feel safe. Everything turned out all right. Indeed. I suppose our meeting was serendipity. Yeah. I suppose so. I don't think that'll be the last we see of her. I think she's gonna follow us. <laughs> Talk to the Gill. And where's the Gill? Is she like outside somewhere? We need to go over here as well. <gasps> There's some side quests. 
Who's out here with the side quest? Over there. Um, let's talk to Lagil first. And then we'll probably go do some side quests. Hopefully talking to Lagil doesn't um lock me into Wasn't something. Wasn't Lagil that lady from the Gold Dust Cats? She's a member of the Service Corps now, just like me. If she's looking for me, that means she's got a problem, huh? Right. She's often near the inn. Let's check there first. Or maybe we should do the quest first. Also, I feel like Xion should have a longer bat cape. It just seems weird without having something longer behind her. She's still cute though. I just wonder if we should do this. Oh. Yes, I've I've been to the I've been to the training ground. Thank you. Also, I think our food is glitched. I don't think it's been going down at all since we uh, started running around. Wait, there's oh yeah, the mushrooms over there. Um, you know what? Maybe we will go do some side quests real quick.